Hello everybody, welcome to my Old World Alliance guide for Blood Bowl 3 and boy howdy, what a, what a terrible, terrible team this is. <laughs> Let's see what Cyanide says. Strong points adaptable. No, they're not. Specialized positions at, specialized positions at a reasonable average cost. No, they're at a, too costed too highly and they're not good positions. Weak points. As loan as skill on most of the positions makes the use of team rerolls risky. Yeah, it's really bad. And high cost of team rerolls, yeah, and really bad players. Um, wow, what a great team! Uh, yeah, if you know, if you want to play these guys, my advice is don't because they're absolutely terrible. Um, and especially if you need a guide for them, because that means you know you're not an expert player probably. So yeah, it's they're really, 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 really bad. But hey, let's have a look at the only build I would ever take if I was forced to use them. <laughs> Oh boy, here, so here it is. There's a tree man, because at least a tree man is strength six. He's got something good. But, you know, he will root, and then he's going to be terrible. Um, a blitzer, because he's a blitzer, human blitzer. A dro troll slayer, because he's a troll slayer. A dwarf blitzer, because you only get one normal blitzer, so you need, you need like, max block on your team, basically, right? So you get three blocks there. Catchers are decent. So, yeah, catcher, throw is decent, okay. Um, some linemen. <laughs> uh, halfling is the reserve so to get your 12th man. Like, that's the only good thing about the team, really, is you've got a tree man and a halfling for a one turn. And then uh, a couple of dwarf blockers. Well, they're not, they're, they're not long beards. They are old world dwarf blockers and they are terrible, but hey, you know, why not have them? I mean, I guess. <laughs> 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 and two rerolls. Uh, this this team's garbage. Um, so yeah, let let's look at all the players then, eh? So you can have a tree man or an ogre. I I would go with a tree man. I mean, he looks nice. <laughs> uh, skill wise, he just wants guard. Uh, he can take grab to help with the one turn. So it's interesting that you'll have like a dual one turn threat, right? You can you can throw. You can throw the halfling, but you can also push the catcher. So depending on how your opponent sets up, will make one of those two slightly better odds. So so you can give him grab to help the one turn sometimes, but also guard is just good. So you're probably just going to take guard on him, and and then block, I guess, a pro maybe, but not really. Oh god, this team this team is depressing. <laughs> okay, so the human blitzer, he's got animosity. So he doesn't want to give the ball to dwarves or halflings on the team. But apart from that, he's block. He's a normal human blitzer. 733, three, 4 plus 9 plus. You can only have one of them though. Whereas of course the great strength of the human team is having four of them. You only get one, which is terrible. <laughs> he wants guard, mighty blow, and tackle on primaries. If you get a secondary, you can go dodge. Maybe you, after those three, you just save up for a stat. And if you don't get strength or agility, then take the dodge. But again, all of this is dependent on the format. It's really hard to do these kind of guides of what you should skill up because it's all dependent on format, whether there's redraft, what the cap is, is there a cap, how many games is the season. All these things factor in. So here's a block, uh, Troll Slayer. He's okay because he's got block. His th loner is 3+, plus, which isn't terrible. Um... He can't pass, his stats are all the same as a normal Troll Slayer, and he will take the normal things, which is Guard, Mighty Blow, Stand Firm, and Juggernaut. Maybe Tackle, maybe. But, um, yeah, he's a Troll Slayer. The Blitzer, 3 plus Loner. The, the, see, the good thing is you can't afford rerolls in this team, so so missing out on the <laughs> uh, missing out on the Loner is not that bad, because you haven't got rerolls to use anyway. 5, 3, 3, 4, 10 plus, Normal Dwarf Blitzer. And again, I like to go guard stand firm actually because I like to use the blitzers more positionally um, on dwarf teams. But in this, he wants to go guard mighty blow because he's got block. So yeah, guard mighty blow stand firm, and then yeah, may maybe save up for stats after that. And if you whiff on a good one, get even armor right for 10k isn't that bad actually. M maybe that's the new meta is uh, after you make your player useful, just save up for the. Uh, AV because it's TV efficient. Um, so yeah, here we go. Animosity towards dwarves and halflings, which isn't isn't that bad, right? Like it's it's negligible that the animosity is negligible. So it's mostly just a normal human catcher. Um, eight, two, three, 
five, so terrible at passing because he's a catcher. It makes sense, doesn't it? You know, nobody can ever catch and throw. Uh, you know, that's why. That's why, like baseball, you know, you only get people who can baseball, basketball. You only ever get people who can pass or throw. They can never ever do both. Um, pass or catch, yeah. Sorry, that went off the rails there, but it's just stupid, isn't it? It's just stupid that that's their thing that you can't have catchers throwing. It's so idiotic. But never mind. Um, armor seven in the old rules. 65k. I mean, they're fine, right? You could make these guys uh, sneaky, get dirty players, or you can just go block and sidestep and save up for guard, or just block and save for guard. God, it's. It, I'm just so depressed at how rubbish this team is. Uh, animosity again, but he's, he's a human thrower. Human throws are fine. They are 80k now, so they're less fine. <laughs> so, God. <laughs> um, block is his skill you can take a leader of course you can take on the ball isn't terrible and you can you can save up for guard or dodge or whatever alright so lineman human lineman completely normal human lineman they, these for some reason don't have animosity for reasons uh, 63349 50k they're fine, aren't they? They're alignment. They just want block. Honestly, they could take block and then save up for stats and just take uh, armor. Like, I don't actually hate that now. Like, I genuinely don't hate that because of the TV. Oh, I guess you could go random, right? You could go random. Random primaries. Maybe even random strengths. Because if you can get a 20k guarder, that's pretty decent. But probably not. That's probably too unlikely. Whereas there's a bunch of normals that aren't terrible for 10k. Obviously, two of them are ideal for 10k. I guess dirty player is also ideal. Kick is pretty pretty much ideal. So you're looking at four good skills out of 12 for 10k, and all the rest are usable. So yeah, maybe random them. But you know, blocks block or wrestle is really good. And then you've got this, <laughs> the dwarf blocker, which is not a long beard. He's four three four five ten, the same as a dwarf long beard, but unfortunately. First of all, he's got loner. He's 75k, he's actually more expensive. And instead of block and tackle, which are amazing skills, you get brawler, which is obviously worse than block. And you get armbar, which is obviously worse than tackle by far. So, really, really terrible. And they need to take block and tackle as their skills, probably. And then, oh, well, maybe it's block and then guard. Yeah, block guard, I guess. And then mighty blow and stand firm. And I guess these guys don't get to take tackle. And then you have the halfling hopeful, what one of the one of the high points of the team. Of course, he you know he's got animosity. He won't be give, distributing the ball, but the thrower will have to make the check to give him the ball if the thrower picks it up or anybody basically picks it up. Make the one turn harder. I mean, they're pretty good. You know, they're, they're pretty good. They're five two three four seven. Like they're, they're got a terrible stat line, but they're thirty k. They're cheap foulers. You can give him sneaky get on primary and then save up for a double for a dirty player and have a sneaky get dirty player. So you could you know you could actually get the second uh, the second halfling that you're allowed. And yeah, that's it's okay. There are some other options, so I can have a look at those now. Well, I say other options. The other option is is the ogre, and he's an ogre. Like he's good. He's more expensive than the tree man. He, he's less strong, but his his trait is worse. Like he's less bad. Bonehead is not as bad as take root, uh, but he's worse at throwing uh, halflings because, of course, he can bonehead and not throw them. Uh, whereas if you root, you can still throw them if you're adjacent. And the tree man has strong arm, so he's not as good at throwing the halflings. But you know, the, the fact that he doesn't get rooted means that he's, you're probably going to be able to keep him part of the match more easily. He wants guard as his first level up, and then you can probably save a block if you want. A lot of people like that. You can also just take a brawler to mitigate it cheaper and quicker. Um, you know, you can take pro and all like that. I just think it's a waste of TV giving doubles to big guys, because I think they're rubbish, and I don't want my TV on big guys. And I think, yeah, I think the ogre's pretty, pretty, pretty expensive overall. Probably don't want him that much. 
So yeah, that's Old World Alliance. I'm sorry I can't be more positive about this team. I guess it would be good to take in a league of new players if you're an experienced player to try and, you know, give everyone a chance. <laughs> um, I guess you could, like, just go super min-max with, like, you know, loads of loads of linemen and then maybe just plus the tree and maybe two halflings, you know, something like that. Maybe there's even no rerolls, you know. You can, you can always make abusive builds out of pretty much every race to try and just induce Griff or Morg or whoever, you know... Uh, like exploiting star players is is a thing in this rule set uh, but if you want to play it properly i guess this would be how i would do it but uh i definitely wouldn't want to touch this team with a barge pole but hey people might i mean people will play anything you know they, they if games workshop come up with any team somebody will buy the models and somebody will play the play the team uh either for challenge or for fun or whatever but yeah definitely not my cup of tea really really poor team uh, i do not like anything about it so there you go <laughs> thanks for watching don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic